James O. Plinton Jr., Black Aviator. Born 1914, died 1996. James O. Plinton Jr. was a U.S. commercial airline executive, commercial airline entrepreneur, and former U.S. Army Air Corps flight officer, pilot, and flight instructor with the Tuskegee Airmen. Plinton Jr. was one of the first African Americans to serve as an executive for a major U.S. commercial airline. At the beginning of America's involvement in World War II, he volunteered for the U.S. Army Air Corps. He was stationed at Tuskegee Institute, where he became a flight, a civil flight instructor, and later the manager of its civilian flying field, where he was in charge of the training for all flight instructors. He became one of the 99th Fighter Squadron's first African-American flight instructors, training 150 pilots, many of them bound for combat in World War II's European theater. Though the date is not documented, he graduated from Tuskegee Service Pilot Cadet Training as a flight officer. He rose to the rank of captain. In the late 1940s and 1950s, Plinton Jr. unsuccessfully acquired a commercial airline job as a pilot, turned down by major U.S. commercial airlines because of his race. Instead of pursuing lawsuits against the U.S. airlines, Plinton Jr. focused outside of the U.S., working with former Tuskegee Airmen pilot and St. Croix Virgin Islands native Henry E. Rolson to organize Ecuador's national airline Endesa, Latin American Airlines, and Haiti's Haitian International Airlines, headquartered in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. On April 3, 1947, he visited Los Angeles to buy two Grumman amphibious planes to be used by Haitian International Airlines to carry mail, passengers, and cargo in the Caribbean. Plinton Jr. believed that Wall Street executive railroaded sabotaged and sabotaged he and Rolson's fledgling airline businesses. Henry E. Rolson Airport, a public airport located six miles southwest of Christiansted, on the island of St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands, is named after Rolson. Plinton Jr. received a citation from the governor of the Grand Turk Island for landing the first aircraft there. Returning to the U.S. in August of 1957, Plinton Jr. used personal connections to get an interview at Transworld Airlines, becoming an executive assistant to the director of personnel and industrial relations. He became the first African American to serve as an executive with a major U.S. commercial airline. In 1971, he became a vice, he became a vice president at Eastern Airlines, making him the highest-ranking African-American for a U.S. commercial airline at the time. Though he retired from Eastern Airlines in 1980, 1980 Eastern Airlines chairman and former astronaut Frank Borman asked him to remain as a special assistant for an additional year. A civic leader, he served as the executive director of the Metropolitan Fellowship of Churches in Florida. He also served as chairman of the Tulkelsey Economic Development Corporation. On July 4th, 1996, aged 81, age 81, he died of cancer at Lake Walls Medical Center Extended Care Facility in Lake Walls, Wales, Florida. Lake Wales, Florida. He was interred at Fairview Cemetery in Westfield, New Jersey. In 2006, the New Jersey Aviation Hall of Fame posthumously inducted Plinton Jr. into the Hall of Fame. Citations are in the description.